Hello, I'm back with another video looking at how you can make your online meetings and events as accessible, engaging and inclusive as possible. And today I'm going to be looking at the problem that Zoom has with videos. You might not even have realised there is a problem. Uh, before we get started though, if these are of interest to you, then I'm making a new video every single week, so hit subscribe so that you know when the next one is out. If you enjoy today's, then click like so I know what content is working for people. And if you've got a comment or a question, leave them in the chat box and I'll get right back to you. So hit subscribe, click like and leave me a comment. Much appreciated. Now on with today's topic, Zoom and videos. I love Zoom. I do. I use it every single day. But one thing really, really annoys me. The quality you see is not the same quality that your participants see. That is true whether you're talking about your camera or whether you're talking about screen sharing. Have you ever noticed that if you've got lots of participants in the meeting, your camera looks the best? That's because Zoom is lying to you. It shows you what you want to see effectively. The quality your participants are getting is not the same. It lowers the quality. Now, I understand why they do this. They lower the bandwidth, they lower the quality, it makes sure you've got a nice, stable connection, which is really, really important. But you can't, this is really important, you can assume that what you see on your screen is the same as what your participants see on theirs. And this is really true when it comes to videos. Let's jump into a Zoom meeting. And I like to play videos quite a lot, and so I've got a, a little demo to show you. I'm going to use a video by Jack Murphy on YouTube, and I've linked to his channel down below. So check out the videos that Jack is making, uh, and uh, thanks for letting me use this video. I'm going to come in and I'm going to screen share clip. Now, what you're going to see in a second, when I click play, you're going to see the quality that I see as the meeting host. So let's click play. I want you to have a look at this video and pay attention to the, the kind of the smoothness of the smoke behind me and the the fringe round the numbers. Count down timer so that we can see it kind of progressing and we see how quickly the frames change. This is a nice video. I'm happy with the quality. Unfortunately, this is not what my meeting participants are seeing. If instead I jump into uh, the meeting as a participant this time, this is what they see much slower. What's happening is my screen share is taking individual photographs of my screen and sending it to the meeting participants. So you get high definition, but that doesn't make up for the jerkiness of the video. So we're getting very, very, very low frame rate. If this is a video, especially of someone talking or some fast moving animation, it's going to make it almost unwatchable. So you don't want to just screen share your video. Now, there's one thing we can do, and this was an update uh, from Zoom. They didn't have this right back at the start. But if we start again, meeting, and we're going to share the screen again. This time, if you look to optimize screen share for video clip, we can then share the video clip. Oops, I'm sharing the wrong screen, apologies optimize and let's do the countdown timer. So again, what you're seeing just now is what I see as the meeting host. Let's just jump back in as a participant now. So this is what the participants see. I'm not blown away. It's still not a good video quality. If you look to the smoke behind the numbers, you can see that it's still taking still images and stitching them together. It's not like the video quality that we have. A normal Zoom meeting, when it's broadcasting, uh, your webcam is showing about 30 images per second. This is much, much lower. I'm not sure how low, but it's pretty bad. Now, there's ways around that. If you want to play a video smoothly through Zoom, you're going to have to do it directly through your camera. You don't want to screen share. Screen share will give you a poor video quality. If you want to share it through your webcam though, you're going to need another program. So I use Ecamm Live. You can also use OBS. These are two platforms which will allow you to create a virtual webcam. The virtual webcam is allowing you to pull in different cameras to show videos and Zoom will take all of that in 
and see it just as one camera. So when I play a video through Zoom, Zoom doesn't actually realize whether I'm playing a video or whether it's me. It just assumes that that is the feed coming from my camera. Maybe that is a complex uh, to throw at you. And I will make a separate video on playing videos through Zoom, through virtual cameras. But for today, all I want to show you is screen sharing videos through Zoom. Please don't do it. If you have to do it, then make sure you click optimize for video clip. Even then, it's going to be low quality. So if you're streaming an event and you're streaming it through Zoom, the videos need to be really, really short. If you are expecting people to watch something that is 10 minutes long, you can't have such a low frame rate and you will have to use another piece of software to create a virtual camera and either use Ecamm Live or OBS. I will show you in another video clip coming next week how you can use both of those programs to have a smoother video. But for now, optimize for video clip sharing and keep the videos really, really short. And don't let Zoom fool you. What you see on your screen is not the same as what other people see. So always connect to the meeting and then connect with your phone as well and have a watch and have a listen to see the quality that your meeting participants are getting. So that's all for today. Again, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, click subscribe for the next one that's coming out next week. And any questions, comments, thoughts, leave them in the chat box below. See you soon.